Hey everyone, I finally finished my mineral computer and I'm going to run through everything involved and in, uh, what it took to get it finished. Notice I finally have full length uh, LED strips on the computer. I bought some 24 inch ones and I had to trim about 6 inches off of it uh, to get it to the right height there so it would uh, fill the full channel but not overflow too much. I, uh, the green LEDs are stronger than the orange LEDs, so in practice when I have it turned on, I'll probably turn down the green LEDs a little bit here. As you can see, I have full control. I'm using the uh, fan controller to control these. Etc, etc. To get a good balance, i got to weaken the green ones just a little bit. The uh, radiator is finally fully populated. Got all the fans in there. I cleaned up his cabling a little bit. Initially, I was going to have uh, one cable for each bank of three fans, but I got tired of too many cables, so now I just have one single cable coming out of the back of there. I made a really crappy three way splitter out of a couple little metal rings I had, and I soldered the, uh, the uh, connectors and wires directly to that and then connectorize the end so they can connect to each bank of fans. So I still have three separate circuits that all just end up converging on one big three-way splitter uh, right before it goes out of the radiator there. Um, I got some nice male connectors for doing that. These guys are really hard to find, but I finally found them. I like them because they make sure to protect your uh, male pins and stuff from touching things they're not supposed to. They're not actually, I mean, they're not engineeringly hard to make or anything like that. Here's the male pins. It's just that nobody carries them with a part number that's reasonable, so you can order them in bulk from, like, DigiKey or uh, Northwest or any one of those, Electrical uh, Mouse or any of those. I couldn't find the part, so if you can, please let me know. Um, you'll notice in the case that I did some general cable cleanup, I pretty much sleeved everything I could. I have a whole mess of wires that run down through here. Those three connectors are the Molex connectors for each of the uh, big high-powered fans that are running inside the computer. This guy, that guy, and that guy. But everything is sleeved now, so now I no longer have a rat's nest of individual little wires, except for maybe these guys up here at the fan controller. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at the flow of the oil here. You can see that uh, the fan's actually strong enough to pull down a little bit of uh, air bubbles from the top, it creates a little cyclone and it does a uh, little tank burps every now and then just like an aquarium but what's nice that I didn't realize I was going to get out of that is that the uh, air bubbles actually can show you some of the flow <clears throat> so in general if you can see bubbles over here they do shoot straight up they kind of suck around over the outside of the video card get sucked into this fan, get blown this way this guy is blowing diagonally down this way and you see there's a little bit of a, you know, there there's flow down, but there's a little bit of cross flow that comes back across here and gets sucked up and reused. And that's actually kind of exactly what I wanted. Um, I expected a little more of the cross flow, but it doesn't really matter because I've got flow that works and keeps everything cool. So previously I had issues with uh, flow in general, and I had a large aquarium Eheim 1262 pump. I found out since then that there was an MCP-35X, this tiny little guy, tiny little guy right here. He has much better flow. He has the same flow as the Eheim did uh, when going through the radiator, when the Eheim was not going through the radiator. It is um, made much better for hydraulic pressure, which is what the uh, tubing size in the radiator causes. It causes it to effectively have a higher head pressure. So uh, I really like him. He's doing really well but he's not giving me quite enough uh, thermal headroom so I can put in a third graphics card and fold it home all day long. Uh, I can fold it home right now, nothing shuts off, nothing goes uh, weird, but I'd rather be able to put in a third card and still fold it home. So I've got an MCP-35X2 on the way. That's two of those little guys connected to one top housing. So there'll still be only one input and one output for oil, but it'll have two pumps behind the, uh, behind the action, and it'll pump a lot more flow with the uh, same head pressure. So now we're going to move inside the case. Doo, 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 doo. I got everything nice and wire managed. Got things zip tied in place. So first we'll look right here. I have a wire where I ran the uh, LED cabling for the LED strips down in there up inside this channel right here from the, uh, from the bottom uh, aluminum uh, post. 
And then I had to cut a small little hole on the end to let this wrap around and come out through this hidden channel right here. And I did the same thing for every single one. So you can see I have them all come up in and out, hidden channels. But then these guys, which come from the back side, they can't do the same thing. I had to cut a small little hole for them to come up directly through the side of the aluminum stock because of the uh, inner and exterior frame meeting right here. They couldn't sneak out like the other guys did. When I did that, though, I didn't realize that when I closed the lid, the lids, the edge of that lid wants to pinch this off right here. So I ended up having to cut another extra little relief you know, cut right there so it didn't push on the wire. And I make sure there's plenty of slack so that it stands straight up and it comes right out through that relief slot. Nice and easy. I've got a whole bunch of cabling tied down here. I've got a lot of these little square blocks that allow me to zip tie to them and keep cables nice and organized. Right now, I, uh, with the exception of the Ethernet and the audio jack cables, I can open this lid as fast as I want and not worry about yanking on any cables. A lot of cables like to get stuck in here. You know, they'll feed themselves out when you have it closed, and then when you go to open it, it likes to yank on it and pull them, pull them out, and that's not good. So what I found out I had to do was zip tie it to the inner frame, and then further zip tie it to the, to the lid frame itself, because that stays stationary relative to the actual exit hole. And that makes it all nice and good. I've got all the LED cables run up and mount directly to another uh, tie right there. And that's pretty much it. Got a lot of nice uh, cable management stuff there. The, uh, I ended up having to get, my tower wouldn't fit underneath this desk here, it's too tall for the desk, so I ended up having to get three 16-foot DVI cables, and then I also ended up having to get a uh, extender repeater cable for the USB. I, uh, I apparently went too far for the spec, and I couldn't get anything to show up without uh, getting the repeater. So I got a trip light repeater uh, USB cable. It's got the little red glow on the end there because it's active, power active, and repeats the message. Uh, I had to bend the PCI bracket slightly because it was just ever, it was slightly too deep and it was forcing the uh, graphics cards to be pulled slightly out of the PCI slot. I didn't notice any performance problems or, uh, you know, uh, undependability, but I wanted to make sure I didn't have any issues to begin with. So I just went ahead and bent those in a little bit to bring this height in. And the final thing I had to do was, uh, when I clipped off some of these Molex connectors, like this guy down here, I cut off a whole extra set of wires right here at the back of the head, and I accidentally actually shorted that on the case. So I uh, grabbed some hot glue and glued up the back of that connector there so that I couldn't make a hot wire contact to any metal <laughs> anywhere else. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's the case. It's all running. It's working pretty good.